Hello. Hello, AOS fans. It's the agents of Weird Hollow. And in this video, we're looking at the map that's in the Weird Hollow rulebook. Yes, we figured we'd go through it because there's a wealth of stuff in there that you could you could speculate on and ooh and ah over for hours. It's a, I think about the first time since Shadespire there's actually been anything of note in the law that might give you some hint as to what is coming. So I find the law a bit frustrating. It doesn't yeah. really interest me that much. But this map did. Yeah, and, well, um, love a good map. I do love a map. Good I do love a map. And it's, this has got some, some, some symbols on it. All, so it. all it needs is a little overlay with like a, an underground system oh, network on it. And oh, well, they'd be there. Yeah, we'd be there. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot going on in the law that we picked out some bits that, that might highlight previous warbands we've already seen or potentially new ones. There's definitely, I reckon, call for at least one new warband. We might as well start with that one, I we're, suppose. We're probably going to get two in this season, I would have thought. <laughs> yeah, we a brand, brand new type of one. Yes. We won't start yeah. with that one. We'll come to it because we have, we have, we have got it in Daniel. Yeah. So yeah. But on the map, there's 16 locations mm. with 12 symbols. Yes, yeah, it's a bit annoying so, trying to work out which one goes Yeah, which yeah, so I think, that's, I think that's deliberate. Yeah. And then there's two or three passages of text in, 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 the, in the title, which is called The Fallen Star, and in, in that couple of pages, there's two or three paragraphs which refer to what the war might be might, yeah. so the first bit talks about human treasure hunters and iconoclasts green-skinned marauders and undead royalty mm. So I think the human treasure hunters, that could be a Cities of Sigma warband. It could be if it's not referring to Hexbanes. I mean, they weren't really yeah, treasure they hunters, were they? Were they were like witch so, hunters. Yeah, so I don't yeah. think it's referring to them. No. So it could, could be it could be a new Cities of Sigma warband. There is a, a Camp Fortune on the map. So it is. maybe that's coming from there, potentially. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Green skin marauders, that's pretty generic. Orcs, basically. Orcs. I mean, it could be the savage orcs, it could be... It could be green cracks. Yeah, it, green yeah, it could be, yeah, I hadn't thought I mean, that. they're not really marauders, no, are they? No, but, no. You never know. Could Maybe be a... Morgok, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, similarly, undead royalty. I mean, I think it, that could be the Sons of Elmore. Yeah. It seems, it seems likely it's the Sons of Elmore. It feels very Sons of Elmore, considering yeah. he is a king. Yeah, and, um, and he's undead. Yeah, so yeah. probably that. Yeah, it would certainly cover those bases. Yeah. In the next paragraph, we've got Cruel Boy Oryx. I'm guessing that could be... That could be the Cruel Boys. could be the Cruel yeah. Boys, yeah. Uh, pestilential Skaven, worshippers of Father Nurgle. I mean, this, this is your paragraph, really. Mm. Uh, well, and then it says, whilst the Caradon are not above deploying defoliating gases, or, or any of us, really, uh, <laughs> to, to clear stubborn knot roots. Interesting idea of a new... Gaseous Caradon uh, warband. I uh, mean, the the the, the Caradrons that we had from season end of season two, he had that gas cloud did, yeah. thing. Yeah, so I mean, it could so just be them. But it could just be them. But it's interesting. They mentioned Pestilential Skaven. Yeah. And there isn't like a a, a clan pestilence warband no, yet. No. But you could say that any Skaven was pestilential, really. Because really, really, rats not known for their non non pestilential t uh, ex attributes. Yeah, they? exactly. So that no. could be the claw pack, yeah. or it could be scritches. But worship as a father Nurgle Pete surely and we've got a Saints war band so a bit of yin and yang yeah. and then is there, it talks about the high minded Lumineth I've forgotten that a bit of the high minded Lumineth summon, summoning runes of purification I mean you've got my Irish purifiers yeah. yes so yeah, okay. so, probably so yeah it probably is them and it's yeah. this is why it's deliberately vague and you can draw I mean I think it's probably most of the war bands but let's have a little look at the map shall we yes. you've already mentioned that Camp Fortune could have could be the human treasure hunters I think that's a good call for a new a new war band we did have that picture in the previous season didn't we of um of the the war the the yeah. cities of sigma war band sort of making its way through the forest and stuff so yeah. i think everybody wants to see that happen definitely the iconoclasts i think is probably the ravagers yeah where they exist on the map i'm not sure there's nothing well, there's nothing obviously chaosy apart from the symbol at the bottom the tainted wood the tainted wood and that that would fit them actually wouldn't yeah, it yeah so yeah that would fit them or that could be the Nile spirit but I'm going to actually going to go with ravagers ravagers connect up with that one uh green skin marauders we, I mean, it's going to be an existing war, war band we've got on the map crack tooth's gulch um, I mean that that symbol there is pretty much straight out of Morgox, isn't it? Exactly, that's that's orky as it gets, really. Yeah. But there is also the spine crawlers' webs and the great stink horn, which yeah, they both... definitely both look like goblins. I mean, I would loon court for yeah. that one, but the the spine crawler webs could be the other new warband because yeah. we don't have anything that's remotely no, like the spine crawler. So like that, my call from this is that it's spider it's, riders. It's, it's happening. Spider riders and um, cities of Sigma. Yeah, the two new warbands from this. 
this this season. So we've got the um, Askurgan Bone Monasteries. Now I did a little bit of Googling and Ask Vampiric Askurgan Renkai mm. were like ancient vampires from the Age of Myth or something. I don't oh, okay. Know. Like um, basically the uh, Warhammer. Yeah, basically. Times. But down the bottom, you've got the um, Askurgan Bone Monasteries and the Blood Mad Ravage. Um, I don't know, but that could be the Ravages. But you've got this little symbol, which is very, very like vampire teeth or possibly the Blood Angels. <laughs> um, oh, they're vampires too. So, oh, yeah. oh well, there you go. <laughs> and then keeping the Space Marine theme, we've also got the Dead Fangs Tower above, which could be uh, the Night uh, Night Lords. Right. With uh, their rubbishy skull and. Or and the Sons bones. of Elmore. Well, they, the they have the same rubbishy yes. logo on there. Although ship. it does say Dead Fangs Tower. So oh, fangs, so fangs teeth. Yeah. Undead skeletons, wolves, undead wolves, yeah, that? undead be, oh. wolf spider riders. Oh. <laughs> What's left? We've got Van Telex Path. That looks a bit undead, as does the Sundered Scales. Looks very bone reapery. Yeah. Uh, and the Van, Van Telex Path is, is one I can't really predict. That could be almost anything, that little symbol. It's just a skull, spiky yeah, skull. That good, covers yeah. like 90% yeah, of, I mean, the, of AOS. Yeah, it could be almost anything. The Eater Pits, quite clearly. Um, some sort of destruction warband ogres, ogres one would yep. assume because they do like a good meal um, and then up in the top I reckon it's the two warbands from the box the Pillars of Jade with the Siege obviously Siege uh, logo, yeah. um, logo and the Drake's Rest yeah. which is pretty Stormcast-y I mean, the Pillars of Jade there was um, was it Warcry there were the Jade Warriors or whatever they were uh, called yeah, yeah, there was yeah. that warband that, that was Siege yeah, there yeah. so yeah that's definitely that and there's Motzel Potter's Gaze as well which is Lizardmen and Lizardmen are getting an AOS release very, Well, the very lore shortly. is all about how this area was, um, there was like a shattered comet or something. Ah, like that. right. Or there were lots of art, art, Lizardman artifacts coming up, through yeah. the, coming up through the ground. That's what the lore about. If you look at the objectives, they've got kind of, much as Narwood did, they've got kind of aztec yeah. Sorry, Lizardmen, nothing to do with the Aztecs. That's uh, definitely Liz, no Aztecs. Liz, Logo, you know, I call it. There's things. many lizards, lizard, or lizard many, lizard many, lizard many one, lizard many two. One final thing, Ventalax is actually mentioned in the book. So Ventalax's ah. path is actually say here. It does write the tales first propagated it, by the explorer Anario Ventalax, one of the few mortals to have entered the Narwood and returned alive. City of Sigma, City of Sigma right again, yeah. Boom. So and that is quite close to Camp Fortune. So. So there you go, there's lots of things there which could either be read that they're just talking all about all the war bangers in previous seasons, <laughs> yeah, or they could each and every one of them almost could be uh, translated into a brand new warband that's coming that's going to be absolutely amazing. You decide ah. which is which. So what do you think? Let us know what you think. Which one of these do you think is going to be new? Which one are the old ones? Or do you, I mean, this could be the next sort of three seasons mapped out, couldn't it? It could, it could be, yeah. You could easily get several seasons worth from this. What yeah. are people hoping to see as well? Not just what they're reckoning to, because I think most people are going to say Cities of Sigma. I think Cities everyone And wants spider, to see spider dudes. Spider grots, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, get, I, I'd like, still... Gwen and uh, Miles and Peter Parker. <laughs> I, I, I'd still an like another Nogal Warband, but I feel like... You've got a big logo right yeah, the in the middle. The skin slough fens is just... It's, it's there and it's all Nogally, but I feel like that's not going to be the main thing of this season. I think we might see an all I think you're right. Warband. I'd love to see some sort of... Because, you know, that they've kind of got that angle of, of Nurgle, which is kind of like growth. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. I would love to see like a Narwoody, kind of almost like a... Somewhere between Silverneth and, and Nurgle yeah. putrid sort of that kind of thing it's all about really death cool. and regrowth and stuff, yeah exactly so. I think it would be really cool to see something completely new like we did with um, we talked about that before but like we did with the name of the warband that I've completely forgotten Sk the Wild Hunt the Wild Sk Hunt, Sk Hunt, Sk Hunt. Hunt and the, the Banoffee Hunters yeah I, I would I would love to see some yeah. kind of they could they could key into like the Last of Us thing recently and have mm. like all this kind of like fungal growth yeah. and stuff like that. although I guess the gits kind of have Mushrooms down. Uh, but, mushrooms mm, down. Do let us know what you think in the comments below. What would you like to see? What do you think we're going to see based off of this? What are your predictions? To be honest, another warband that had mushrooms. I don't think anybody would be disappointed no. by that, to be honest. Everyone loves a mushroom. No. So we'll see you soon in the weird hollow.